guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be sharing with you how to make DIY bowl covers. That's kind of the name that I've found going around for them. That's what I've been calling them. Essentially, they are just a kind of like stretchy fabric that you can stretch over bowls, uh, really anything. You can stretch them over jars, cups, anything that has food in it that you would normally probably use like saran wrap for or tin foil. So they are a zero waste friendly option to take the place of those two things that are commonly used, um, especially in America. It's also a great way to cover bowls when you're baking bread. If you want your dough to rise, it's really good for that. It's also useful for fermenting things because if you make them out of a breathable material, they will allow airflow, but they won't actually allow anything to get into the jar. Now, I will say that they're not airtight because you are making them out of fabric, so they are going to be breathable, but there is different material, like you could line them with something that's a non-breathable material. So if you are interested in learning how to make these yourself, then just keep on watching and I'm going to walk you through all of the steps. So the things you're going to need for this project are, of course, a sewing machine, if you don't already have a sewing machine, see if someone you know has one that you can borrow for like a day or two to make this project. Or you can see if you can find one second hand. I believe sewing machines are pretty commonly listed on like Craigslist and things like that. Or if not, you can save up and invest in a sewing machine. I personally think mine has paid for itself. With all of the clothing that I've been able to fix and repair and get more life out of and all of the projects I've been able to make instead of having to buy things, I really think a sewing machine and sewing itself is a skill that kind of pays for itself. So the next thing you're going to need is some kind of fabric. I made them using scrap fabric that I got at the thrift store and then the other thing I used was actually just an old sheet that we had lying around some bowls to trace because you want to kind of make them for existing bowls that you already have some elastic some fabric scissors something to trace around with you'll need one safety pin to thread the elastic through the bag and then just some pins to pin it all and hold it together and that's basically it. Most of the things you should already have if you have a sewing machine. Oh and you'll need thread to sew <laughs> but that's a given in the sewing machine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to lay your fabric down on a flat surface. You can iron it beforehand if you want. It's an optional step. And then you're going to take your bowl upside down on the fabric, trace around it, Trace however many you want. You're going to need two pieces for each bowl cover because you're going to sandwich them together. So just keep that in mind. Then when you have all of your tracings done, you're going to cut out your circles. Now I left half an inch of seam allowance because these are going to shrink a little bit when you sew them. Then you're going to sandwich two pieces that fit pretty well together and you are going to pin them right sides facing inward. So just like I'm showing you on the video clip, the part where you trace around, you want those pieces to be on the outside so that when you flip them, you won't actually see the tracing mark. So you can trace it in whatever you want really because you won't see it. So then you're gonna wanna make sure you pin around the edges just to hold everything in place and you want to leave a little space that you don't sew around. This is so that you can flip it right side out when you're all done. So you kinda wanna sew in this kind of shape leaving a little space at the top. So I tried to sew this kind of as close to the edge as possible. You don't want to sew it like so much so that the bag is just going to fall apart. So after you've sewed your circle leaving a space open, you're going to want to turn it right side out and kind of like lay it as flat as possible. I kind of roll the seam around the edge and just make sure it's all flat and good. You can iron it if you want 
but that is an optional step. Then you're going to measure out your elastic. So however thick your elastic is, is how thick you're going to have to sew a loop for it. So try and go as small as possible. Mine was a little bit bigger than I would have liked, but I found my elastic at the thrift store. So I just went with it. I was contemplating cutting it in half, but I'm not sure if that would make it unravel. So just use the size that you have but smaller is better Measure out the width of your elastic and then you're going to pin around on um, kind of like a smaller circle inside your big circle so that's going to be where you thread your elastic through so it has to be big enough to kind of put your pull your elastic through that loop once you've got that measured out just pin that and then sew again you can actually sew all the way around this time you don't have to leave a little opening And then put a safety pin on one end of your elastic and insert it into that loop that you just sewed and kind of like gather it as you go. You want it to be fairly like scrunched up so that it will hold on to the bolt. You're going to want to snip the other end of the elastic and sew the two ends together. I just went over twice with a forward and then a back stitch. Last step is to just tuck the edges in on that one little opening and kind of sew it closed over the top and then you are completely done and you have a bowl cover that will fit perfectly over your bowl. So that is it and hopefully by now you have a finished product that you can go forth and use on all of your bowls to replace the use of saran wrap and tin foil to cover things so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to see more sewing tutorials things along those lines please let me know in the comments down below because this is the first video i'm making of this kind i would love to know what you would like to see more of and if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up it really shows me that you want to see more of these videos when you like the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when i post a new video and with that i will see you in my next one